Hey guys, this is DJ Mizuhara from Redstone Gamer. Today, I'd like to show you how to set up your remote play uh, so you can play your PlayStation 4 on your PlayStation Vita over the internet with miles away from your house. So, uh, okay, first of all, we go to settings and we should, uh, you should note that if you are, um, if you have more than one account, Make sure that the PlayStation Vita and the PlayStation 3 both log into the same account. So set it to automatically log into the account that your PlayStation Vita logs into also. Okay. So when you when the PlayStation wakes up, it logs automatically into the account so the PlayStation Vita and the PlayStation 4 can can, can connect. So make sure that the uh they log into the same uh to the same login okay so once you've once you've done that um, go to your network and at the moment uh, currently my network status is I am connected via cable via LAN cable so I'm not too sure if this affects it but um, I've had best results via LAN cable so so far let's just go check so there's my upload and download speed so not type 2 uh, so I guess everything's okay here um, so yeah I'm as I said I'm connected so my PlayStation Vita is also connected I've uh, here because I'm not uh, in the home I'm gonna be out so I'm just not gonna say that I want my PlayStation 4 and my Vita to connect directly i wanted to connect over the internet so i've uh, taken the uh, tick off okay i've untagged the box so that's out and uh, power saving okay so you can here enable turning on playstation 4 from network so basically if your playstation 4 is um is asleep uh, in standby mode, um, your your Vita will wake up the PlayStation 4 um, via the remote play. So once it connects to the PlayStation 4 via the internet, it will wake it up, and then it'll auto log in once you've set it to auto log in, and then the uh, the handshake uh, across the internet should work. So make sure that you enable turning on PlayStation 4. Okay over the network okay so that's done so basically um, your obviously you need to add your device so you connect your PlayStation th uh, your PlayStation 4 to your PlayStation Vita here so you add device that asks you to insert this uh, eight digit pin code you in you insert the eight digit pin code and there you go it connect uh, they'll connect to each other basically just send an information to each other um, IP ad IP addresses and MAC addresses and stuff like that so it can connect via the internet anyway once you've done that you're all set to go so what you could do now is uh, you could basically just log out uh, sorry enter standby mode and once you enter standby mode when you have your Vita with you you should be able to connect so I think I'm going to split this up so I'm just showing you how to connect uh, the settings you need in your PlayStation 4 and I'm going to shoot another video in my car miles away from my house connecting over the internet via my uh, my cell phone my uh, smartphone I'm going to set up a hotspot on my phone and connect to my PlayStation 4 through the Vita, through the through my phone to my PlayStation 4 and play PlayStation 4 games on my Vita in the car. Okay, so this is the end of this video. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna edit the two videos together to make one complete video. So after this, you'll see in the car. Okay, so see you in the car. So I've got my phone up there. I'm gonna do a quick speed test to see if if the connection is gonna work. This morning I got like 22, 
But it looks like I'm only going to get 13 megabytes per second. So, not really great upload speed. Uh, about 5, maybe 6. Oh, 7. So, the download speed is 13. Upload speed is 7. It's not bad. But, uh, yeah. So, okay. So, there's the speed test. So, I'm going to activate my hotspot. Okay. So, my hotspot is now up. Okay. So, I'm going to connect my Vita to the hotspot, okay? So, there you go, connecting, it's connecting, okay, it's connected to the Wi-Fi, you can see at the top, there you go, it's the Wi-Fi, and it also says on my phone, uh, connected devices, Vita, so, um, so now I'm connected to the internet. So, I mean, I was playing um, Soul Sacrifice Delta, um, which is uh, pretty sweet, but I can jump out of that and go to PlayStation Link, hit Start, and Remote Play. So now it's using the my phone as a hotspot to connect to the internet to search for the PlayStation 4 so it says it's gonna take well it may take a few minutes to find the PlayStation 4 I guess that depends on your connection speed I don't know so it's still searching Turn the car off. Don't need the engine on. Okay. Okay, connecting to the PlayStation 4. So basically my PlayStation 4 has just woke up because it was in standby mode. Um, so now it's obviously checking for the environment. Okay, there you go. And it's connected to my PlayStation 4. My PlayStation 4 is now awake. And I have control of my PlayStation 4. So I'm going to play a game which is pretty intensive and I'm going to go with Resogun. This is a pretty uh, intensive game, especially if you're trying to um, test out like lag-free gaming. I guess this is probably your best bet because this is kind of a Twitch shooter. Uh, it's 60 frames a second, but on the PlayStation Vita via remote play, it drops it down to 30. But I don't think it really matters because it plays extremely well. I'm going to plug in my Vita into the... As you can see, it looks pretty fucking sweet, right? My connection's a bit crappy, so it's losing some... Losing some frames. But... But it is totally playable. I mean, when when it's not skipping frames, it's fine. But 
looks to be, I don't know, smoothing out. So I can jump out that. I can jump out of that and I could play, I've got a disc in my PlayStation 4 which is uh, Need for Speed. Again, this is another good test of uh, of to see how how much lag you have because of uh, obviously a racing game you need pretty precise controls otherwise you'd be driving off the road or or whatever so this is a pretty good test of um, the lag free so it's currently loading <laughs> So I'm just going to go straight into it. So my PlayStation 4 is connected to the servers, which is then relaying that to my PlayStation Vita via remote play via the internet. Using my phone as a hotspot. My phone is now going to sleep. Wake up. Oh, and there goes the camera. Let me fix the camera. Okay. Back again. So yeah. So I'm just going to go start straight into a game. This is the uh, PlayStation Vita 2000, as you can see. I find this much better than the original FAT, just because of this touchpad, it's smaller. So your your grip on the back is uh, it's not tight, so it's more comfortable to hold. It's not, it's not perfect. You can feel it a little bit, but it is, I wouldn't say it was like perfectly playable, but it's almost there. But this is not the best connection in the world. Um, yeah, there goes the, there goes the thing again. So I think I'll uh, finish here to just say, yeah, yeah, it totally works. So. If you get a chance to try it, if you've got a PlayStation Vita, PlayStation 4, and a hotspot, give it a try. You might be able to play on the toilet at work while, uh, while you should be working. <laughs> anyway, have a good day. This is DJ Mizuhara. Let's go to some of this. Focus. Focus. Nope. I wonder if I can go to my camera and see my living room. Log in. It'll have data management. Oh no. Oh, maybe it will be on the devices, right? Devices. PlayStation camera. Yeah. My living room. Nobody there. Obviously. But yeah. My living room. 
Cool. Anyways, thanks for watching. Please subscribe, comment, and hit that like button. Thank you. Let's go to some of this.